Kami po yung nagbabalik mula dito sa arena sa lungsod ng San Juan. At tingnan natin to partner, yung misfiring EAC General sa talagang uh, medyo minamalas. Pero itong si Francis Monsayak at 20 points and 4 triples against San Beda. Against Arellano naman. 8 points lang with 2 triples. Ito naman si Fernand Mejos. Was it averaging? Shane leading scorer ng EAC, pero against Arellano, 4 points. Walang pinukol mula sa labas. Importante dyan, no, to remain that consistency. If you're uh, the generals for these two players, okay lang yun. Eh. Importante yeah, yeah. na aware ka sa naging stat line mo. And you know you can do better. You can improve and just focus on the things that you have to work on. At uh, magawa lang nila yun, magkakaroon sila ng magandang production. Paolo Pontejos pumukol pa rin mula sa labas. Wala, and rebounded that time by uh, Jorim Morada. And foul ang itatawag kay Irvin Rosme. Unang personal, unang team foul here in the second quarter. Yes, partner. Speaking of Paulo Ponteos, he's struggling right now. One out of five from the field. Medyo gigil siya. Gusto niyo makuha yung shot niya. But according nga to Code for Health, relax lang ulit. Composure lang and just involve your teammates more. And we can see Emilio Aguinaldo College being patient, more patient actually here in the second quarter. Shot clock winding down and it's an obvious traveling there. Sabi pa ni Lamino, hindi naman ako nag-travel ah. Too many steps on that. Medyo, hindi na napansin yung third step. And ito, pansinin naman natin. Balikan natin ang pangatlong kasamahan natin. Para sa ABS-CBN Sports, si Siege Tantenko. Siege, sino kasama mo? Yes, kasama ko ngayon ang kapatid ni Abdel Tumichi na si Mike. With your brother? Yeah, you know, uh, my brother and me love to play basketball since we are kids. And actually, we do play football too, soccer. And uh, when we choose basketball, we play, you know, it's all about skills, it's all about, you know, it's almost like we are dancing. Yeah, it's like that. So my brother and me choose to play basketball because we love it. Yeah, we love it, we really love it. And then, you know, we choose to do it because we love it. And then we are here in the Philippines playing, studying also. So that's why we are here. Yeah. Has anyone told you that your brother looks like the NBA player Robert Corey? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Actually, at school, Sudan used to say he looked like Chris Brown. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. An NBA player and an RNB. Thank you, Siege. That was a wonderful uh, interview. And maraming salamat din kay Mike Putucci at ayan, ang kamukha nga daw ni Robert Horry. At kamukha din ni Chris Brown, sabi niya. Pero partner, I'd rather be Robert Horry with so many rings. Oh. Diba? Diba? Maraming Aha. NBA championship yung si Robert Horry. Ang una nagsabi na, kasama natin na si Coach A.G. Alan Gregor. Yung nung first game pa lang, opening day against Aquiliano. Siya na yung una nakapansin. At tinanong din ng ating kasamahan si Boom Labruska nung uh, player of the game nga si Abdel Patucci na ano daw yung pakiramdam niya na kamukha ni Robert Horry. Natuwa nga naman siya. Oh, inspiration yun, di ba? Oo. Oh. Ito naman si Francis Monsaya. First time gagamitin itong general minion by Coach Andy De Guzman. Let's see if Monsayak can help his squad here. Ganda ng pasa niya kay Sidney Onwobere recognizing that Onwobere's strength is really coming from the outside, attacking from the wing. Good playmaking there by Monsayak. No? Even though he's struggling with a bad ankle, nakita na yung open man right away, the breakdown ng defense, and leading to that two free throw. Thank you once again to our director, Derek Abit Ramos of ABS-CBN Sports for completing our team and uh, for, for that replay. Sidney Onwubere at the line. Dos puntos pa lang. Two of three. Si Sidney at the line today. Make that three of four for Onwubere today. He, he already has seven rebounds. No? Big production there on the defensive end. Uy! You see, gets a turnover. Monsaya. Oh, nahanap. Libre si Lamino, pero... Medyo yun ang kailangan matutunan pa ni Lamino. Akala nga na peke niya na si Abdul Wahab, but Abdul Wahab has to rush down. Kulang mga kakampi niya, and he does now. And here's Onwubere with that long wingspan, trying to bother itong si Ponteho, who fires Monsayak. Running now, surveying the floor, guarded by the rookie Justin De La Virge. Monsayak will set the offense up for EAC. Coach Verhel sticking to that zone defense, making the generals shoot from the outside. 
mas pipiliin na yun no? kaya kaysa magkaroon ng mga open open touches sa ilalim Marlo bon, bon Leon missing from the outside on that possession eto na si Justin De La Virgen who uh, coach Cholo Villanueva coach Virgil Menezes speak highly of Dave Sanchez pinag-iisipan Dave Sanchez lumapit wala and rebounded that time by Dan Kenneth Corilla ito na naman si Monsea going for three and the zone defense has been working well no if you're the coach mas gusto mo nang ipatira sa kanila yung lower percentage shot uh, kaysa dun sa mas madadaling shot sa ilalim may makikita natin in our next dead ball situation Tate Chodoro ay babalik na ni coach Virgil Meneses hirap to si Justin Vidal de la Virgen Abdul Wahab wala pa rin second try third try wala off and running Dan Kenneth Corilla Monsayak ang uno para sa EAC sabi niya teka lang ayusin natin opensa natin Monsayak finds Sidney Onwuberi feels he has that mismatch a couple of fakes three but a three violation. second violation itatawag kay Onwuberi no defense really paying off kung mapasa man nila sa ilalim medyo gigil si Onwuberi baka kuha ng kanyang tira doon and he was Jordan called for that three second violation Jordan De La Paz coming in for the first time today wearing jersey number 13 there he is Play the forward position for Coach Virgil Meneses. De La Virgen, talagang pinipressure nitong veteran na si Francis Monsaya. Ganda ng tapik doon from behind ni Lamino. Mutik na mawala, pero bola pa rin ng JRU. De La Virgen, guarded by Monsaya. Tete Chodoro. Tete with a jumper is good for Chodoro. Good look there by Tete Chodoro. He saw that opening. Mayroon siyang kumpiyansa to hit that shot. And he can hit that all day. Kenneth Corilla sa loob, Marlo Bonleon, nakahanap mag po ang ilis na muna. Para kay Marlo, Marlo Bonleon, pang limang puntos na ni Bonleon ngayon. 21 to 18, lamang pa rin ng tatlo itong Jose Rizal University Heavy Bombers sa Emilio Aguinaldo College Generals. This strong move of the game is brought to you by Smart. Live the smart life, Mario Bonleon. Pang limang puntos na ni Bonleon today. Of course, a native of Davao City. And uh, used to play for San Sebastian. I love JRU, Paolo Ponteos. Mga taga Santa Rosa, Laguna to. From Good Earth. Bumiyahe pa all the way from Laguna, partner. Dito sa Mandalu uh, sa San Juan. Just to see itong si Paolo Ponteos. At maganda nga para sa mga taga Laguna. No? Walang traffic ngayon dahil Edel Fitir. No? Happy holidays. Monsayak, 2 on 1 break. The hesitation could pass. Di nga lang napasok nun ni uh, Dan Corilla. Chodoro, tinawagan ng pangatlong oh, personal oh, foul. Fourth team foul for JRU. If your coach, this is the same question I asked you earlier. If your coach Virgil Menezes, do you take out Tete? But doesn't look like he is gonna take out Tete Chodoro. Um, you can go either way, no? For five minutes pa naman, medyo coming into the second half. Pwede mong isugal na nandiyan pa rin si Chodoro. Sabihin mo lang sa kanina na huwag siya mag-foul at mag-ingat. General Minion, Francis Monsayak, hits from the outside. Kanyang unang tres ay pumasok na para kay Monsayak. Tabla po tayo, 21 para sa EAC, 21 para sa Jose Rizal University. Unang personal foul ni Adum Embang, pinasok na at binalik naman ito ni Coach Vergel Meneses. Si Paolo Ponteos, ayaw niyang isugal. Siyempre si Tete Chodoro with three personal fouls. And at the line now is Mark Neil Cruz, who hails from Morong Rizal. And used to play for Jesus My Shepherd Montessori High School. Good signs for the JRU. They're converting their free throws early. Uh, magagamit nila tong puhunan para sa end game mamaya. Lamang ng dalawa ang mga Navy Blue. Ang Jose Rizal University Munsayak. The love over to Amino. Everything. But the shot there, ang ganda na nung pasa ni Monsayak. Kaya hindi mo lang kay Amino, kay Embang rather. Tingnan natin dito, partner. Ito talaga yung sa mga strength ni Monsayak. Ganda, sakto eh. Yes. Oo. Oh, nakita niya na maganda yung find doon sa kanyang kakampi. Pero Embang, oh. maganda ang pinapakita ng JRU sa kanilang depensa. No? Dahil hindi mo naman kailangan makuha yung steal or turnover. Uh, importante lang, make the opponent uh, have rush shots. Katulad nung ginawa kanina ni Monsayak. 
Dan pinalik na sa laro. Itong si Hamadu Lamino. Inside. And umingi ng traveling violation doon si Coach Andy De Guzman kay Jordan De La Paz. Pero tinawagan ng foul. Mukhang kay natawag ito. Kay Dan Corilla. Kanyang unang personal foul. Pangatlong team foul. Jordan De La Paz will now head to the line for Jose Rizal University. Jordan De La Paz. Uh, partner, ito yata yung kapatid ni De La Paz from uh, St. Bale Blazers, yung player Yes, partner. Naglaro din yan para sa Jose Rizal University in the juniors. Pinanganak sa Basig and from Rizal. Mintis ang uh, pangalawang free throw ni Jordan De La Paz. Lamang ng tatlo itong Jose Rizal University. 24 to 21, JRU. Guarding Mamun Sayak going left, going right, trying to shake off that defense of De La Virgen. Monsayak with eight on their shot clock. Nahanap si Bon Leon. Bon Leon again finds some space. And wow, what a tip in that time. That was good. Para dito kay Angelico Jego. That was pure desire by Jego, no? Hindi siya na give up ng play. Nakuha niya yung tip in for his team. Paolo Ponteos manning the point guard position against a taller Kenneth Corilla. De La Virgen. Pops one, wala. Abdel Putucci, nakabalik na sa laro. Deliver hand, the kick out to Pontejos. Rolls out, and the two foreign players for both squads entangled there. Oh, see Abdel Putucci and see Amadu Lamino. And this strong move is brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. And Jericho Chego capitalizing there. And speaking of capitalizing partner, Putucci now has his third foul. Napakagandang oportunidad ito para sa generals para makakonvert pa sa kanilang offense. And at the line is Amadu Lamino. Pumasok ang unang free throw ni Lamino. Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak for Abdul Ali, Putucci. Abdel Putucci has to sit down and Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. Now, Abdel Generals employing a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one full court trap. And a foul there, ang itatawag mo ka kay Jerry Cojego. Unang personal, pang-apat na team foul ng EAC Generals. Medyo nahuli doon, partner, yung weak side defense, no? Kaya nakakuha si... Ang JRU ng foul doon. Dapat bumaba ka kagad. The ball is moving so fast na kailangan makarecover ka sa iyong posisyon. Mark Neil Cruz. Sabi ni Coach Verhel Meneses, ang ganda daw ng nalaro niya ng last game. Kaya in-start niya ulit ng si Mark Cruz for JRU. No, even though Mark Cruz had 3 points and 3 rebounds last game, Nagustuhan ni Coach Rahel dahil sa kanyang Big intangibles ang nagagawa niya na wala sa stat sheet. No? So, hindi importante na mag-produce ka kung ano lang ang nakikita natin dito sa papel na ito. Uh, makita niya na dapat uh, nakakatulong siya sa team, nakakadepensa siya ng maayos, and that's what the coaching staff wants. And Abigail, or Sexy Addy, interesting ang kanyang uh, handle name sa Twitter. Ah. Sabi niya, hello nephew, anak namin si Francis Monsayap. Thank God, and he's finally in the game. Ah. Yes. Oh, ito si Francis Monsayap. Bulit yan eh, talagang uh, pinapalo ko yan sa Instagram mamaya, pag-usapan natin siya. Oh. In the meantime, mente si Abdul Wahab Abdul Razak, another foul called by our official and uh, uh, that will send EAC to the penalty now. Hamadul Lamino, first personal foul. And that will send Abdul, Wah Abdul Wahab to the line. Tingnan natin itong tweet naman ni JR. Partner, masahin natin. Sana manalo, JRU. Hashtag Mabuhay Rizal. Hashtag NCA Season 91. Hello, JR. At syempre, ang uh, iyong handle name sa Twitter, at Migs Bustos. Yes. Ako din, at Andre underscore Felix. Sa Instagram naman, it's all one word, Andre Felix. And uh, add nyo din kami sa Facebook kung gusto nyo. Pwede rin. Oo, oh, ganun din. Kung ano yung pangalan namin sa Instagram and Twitter, yun din sa Facebook. Inanfriend mo ba ako sa Facebook? Para hindi. <laughs> <laughs> hindi kita makita sa timeline ko eh. <laughs> <laughs> sa wall. Sa wall. 
27-25. At sabi ni Abdul Wahab, hindi ako yung huling uh, nakatapik doon. He's really furious. He has to be careful at the refs. And there it is. Tinawagan niya ata siya ng technical foul doon for too many, too much complaining. Tingnan natin doon. Balikan natin, Derek Abe. Thank you. It was too close. Pwedeng dumaplis sa kanya. Pwedeng dumaan lang sa kanya. No? Pero De, kaya nga siya nagagalit dito, partner. Tingnan mo yung reaction niya. Yes. Kasi sabi niya nga, ayan no, sabi niya, hindi niya naman daw nahawakan. And that angle, I think he didn't. He, yes. He dumaplis sa kanya. Kaya nga siya, he's really furious at our officials. And he was called, of course, for technical foul for continuous complaining. Heads, Francis Monsayak heads to the free throw line and will shoot two free throws where Monsayak has been perfect in se season 91. Abate partner. <laughs> Abate ang kanyang free throw shooting. Pero makakabawi pa siya ngayong second free throw. Sabi ko perfect from the line in season 91 eh, no? Ay, hindi. Um, one free throw lang ang uh, technical free throw ngayon. Abdul Wahab still not agreeing to that call. He feels JRU should still have the ball back. Pero pass is pass. Let's move on. EAC has the ball down by two. Rom Morata, pinawi naman ni Abdul Wahab. Tino mo yung expression niya, partner, after that block. Oh, naging fuel na yung frustration oh, niya on the defensive end. Jorge Morata from the outside. And Getting that defensive rebound. Galing Guess partner. who? Guess who? Abdul, Abdul Wahab. Nilabas niya, partner. Frustration niya doon. Paolo Monteos, if I were you, give the ball to Abdul Wahab. Na parang nakainom ng energy drink all of a sudden. He is just pumped up right now. Yes, no, ginamit niya talaga yung uh, uh, miss call according to him, no, at uh, getting the offensive rebound and there. getting Abdul that Wahab. tip in. Abdul. Wow! Look at him right Great now. Great effort Look by at Abdul, Abdul Wahab. Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak, after being called for a technical foul, he is pumped up, gets that block, gets the offensive rebound, didn't give up on the offensive end, and look at him right now. That's the fire in Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. Sabi niya, tinawagan ako ng technical foul. Ito ang bibigay ko para sa kupunan ko. Kami po yung magbabalik dito lamang sa abs Ben Sports and Action. Kami po yung nagbabalik dito sa arena sa lungsod ng San Juan para sa ating pangalawang laro of uh, three-game NCA Friday. Kanina nga ay uh, nanalong perpetual help 84-70 to 70 against San Sebastian. Nakuha na lang kanilang pakapat na panalo. Ngayon naman, balikan natin si Siege Tantenko. Siege, ano ba yung mga dapat abangan at the half? Well, and I mix, you know what? Have you made your own mini videos? Kung hindi pa talong-talong kayo ng ating NCAA players, mamayang halftime, they're going to whip and we're going to watch them nene. Spice-spice tayo ko naon. Andre, Nick? Thank you, Siege. Ikaw ba? Marunong ka mag-nene. Ikaw. Subukan. Subukan natin, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko pa natatry yung nene dance na yan. Alam mo, sino gusto ko makita? Si Tay Tay Chodoro. Tay Tay doing the nene. Tay Tay doing the nene. Just fitting, Andre. First personal foul ito tao kay Jordan De La Paz. Mario Bonleon at the line now. Who, he has been one of two from the line today. Tingnan natin ang uh, nangyari. That sequence, partner. Yes, no. Um, getting that second chance is Bon Leon. And same thing, capitalize on the free throws, no? Penalty ang JRU ngayon. Mamuhunan para mamayang endgame. And Mario Bon Leon gets his first free throw in season 91 in NC. That's just his unang uh, free throw in the season. And the energy of Abdul Wahab, as we saw on the replay, no? Really, pati tayo, partner, nahawa. Five rebounds, four offensive on his end. Talagang after that technical foul, bumawi siya sa kanyang uh -huh. coaching staff at uh, he produced well. I stand corrected. Four of five pala at the free throw line. So, Mario Bonillon, he hasn't attempted any free throws in season 91. But today, he has five attempts. Going back to your point, ibang klase yung nagawa ng isang technical foul no, to spark a player partner. Yung uh, sabi niya nga kanina kasi, di naman daw niya nawakan yung bola but he was called for that technical foul. And then, talagang, inakita yun, nakita mo yung aggression niya, eh, no? na gusto niyang bumawi. But napaganda on a positive note. Yes, no? kasi normally, pag ikaw ang nagkaroon ng technical foul, your team commits that yung opponent yung magkakapitalize of that eh. no pero nabaliktad ni Abdul Wahab yon dahil uh, nakakuha siya ng key rebounds he got key stops and he got key tip ins 30 to 27 
at naagaw dun ng JRU off and running is De La Paz Pontejos As we can see, the coaching staff livid of that sequence. Coach Andy nga kanina, nakausap natin, partner, no? Ang gusto lang niya sa kanyang kumpunan ay unti-untiin lang. Di ba? Dahil, uh, porket uh, 0-3 sila ngayon, hindi ibig sabihin na pressured sila to get their first win. Just remain with their objectives. Katulad nun, get those key stops. And... It will just follow. Uh, kung anong mangyari mamaya, uh, makikita na lang natin yun if they uh, convert on what they need to do. Amado Lamino, 4 of 5 from the line today. <coughs> Sensya na kung uh, ako'y namamaos at wala nang bosses ngayon. Nakakasigaw partner. Mahinit kasi yung action ngayon partner kaya napakasigaw talaga tayo eh. No? <coughs> oh, Cruz! That was good from Mark Cruz. Pang nueven puntos na ni Mark today. The last touch by a general. Tina natin ang fast play of the game brought to you by Smart Live the Smart Life. Mark Cruz, that good move and that two points. Lamang na ng apat ito. Jose Rizal University Heavy Bombers, their biggest lead was at 5 when the score was 19 to 14. A minute and 30 remaining in the first half. Ito po, no? nakita natin ang generals nag-switch na sila sa kanilang zone defense. And as they forced Montez to take that 3, pero offensive rebound, kailangan makuha nila yun. They need to box out their men no? para hindi na magkaroon ng second chance points ang Heavy Bombers. Montejos. Tira pa rin ang tira mula sa labas. Hindi niya pa rin mahanap ang kanyang uh, range today. Still hasn't scored a three-pointer to si Paolo Ponteos. Amado Lamino ang tinawagan para sa kanyang pangalawang personal foul. At uh, you know, pupunta sa linya ito si Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. And today, si Abdul Wahab sa free throw ay 2 of 4. Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak, sparking this JRU squad after being called for a technical foul. And go JRU, we love you, Abdul. Sabi ng mga fans natin from Jose Rizal University. You know, good press break there for the generals. Uh, just need to convert on the offensive end. Patience lang. And the 10 seconds on the shot clock. You need to convert if you're Monsayak. Sidney Onwobere trying to... Look for a teammate, Jorim Morada with three on the shot clock. Sydney has to do something. He loses the ball. Balik ang bola kay Jordan De La Paz at Jose Rizal University Heavy Bombers. Francis Monsaya ang tatawagan doon ng kanyang unang personal foul. Medyo hindi naka-step ng sideline doon si Francis Monsaya. He was called for that blocking foul. If he would have uh, naunahan niya yung, yung opponent sa, sa harapan niya, baka natawagan pa siya ng charging doon. Two of three at the line. It is Jordan De La Paz. 39.6 seconds ang nalalabi. Don't forget, at the half, NCAA trending. Lahat ng mga kaganapan sa mga eskwela. Tingnan nyo paano mag-nene ang ating mga players, ating mga manunod, ating mga fans. At lamang na ng siyete. Ito ang pinakamalaking kalamangan, kalamangan mix. Itong uh, Cerezal University. At Abdul Wahab, Abdul Razak. Firing the crowd, no? Talagang uh, ganadong-ganado kung hindi siya ang JRU Heavy Bombers crowd. Huli ka, boy! Sabi ni Abdul Wahab. Tina mo, expression kay Abdul para sa pangatlong blank kanya ngayong araw. Monsayak, guarded by Ponteos. This is a good matchup with Ponteos and Monsayak. Pressure given there by Ponteos. Shot clock winding down. Nada pa and foul, sabi ni assistant coach Cholo Villanueva, traveling dapat yun. Third personal foul ang itatawag kay Mark, Mark Cruz. Cruz. Uh, at first look, no, I thought it was a travel, pero nauna ang uh, contact doon kay Mark Cruz. Na-bail out pa doon itong si Jorim Morada. Kaya nasa linya na ngayon si Morada. Misses on... 
His first attempt today from the line, scoreless pa rin si Jorim. At mukhang set to go in na si Marco Paolo Balagtas, who hasn't seen action in the first half with 17.3 remaining siguro for some instant offense para kay Coach uh, Vergel. Yes. Jordan De La Paz gets the rebound. Mukhang hindi napapasok si Balagtas. And sino makakuha ng bola? Nakuha ng EAC. Napaganda pa para kay Jorim Morada. And there an offensive foul will be called dito kay Sidney Onwubere. Ano ito na, papasok na si Marco Balagtas. Para kay Mark Cruz. So eight seconds into the second, uh, into the half. You can take a last shot right away. Uh, just be patient. Matagal pa yung eight seconds. Just need to convert on this. Jordan De La Paz, the runner short. And Munsayak will just have to throw this one up. And pagkatapos ng 20 minutos ng basketball na ating pangalawang laro sa ating NCAA triple header on a Friday. Holiday nga po, idil pedir the end of Ramadan. Pinakamalaking kalamangan ng EAC was at 4 when the score was 6-2. to two. JRU now up 35-28. to 28. At, at the half, kami po yung magbabalik sa NCA Season 91 on ABS-CBN Sports and Action.